got a package from Premier for you. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks a lot. Chickens ought to be excited. They don't get to free range anymore. But at least they won't be tearing up everything out here. Premier offered several different fence energizers. And originally we were going to go with a solar, pow uh, solar powered one. But I thought, well, that's like $300 or, or whatever it is. It was close to $300. And we really didn't want to run a cord out here because we don't have electricity in the coop. And one of their options was just to have a 12 volt battery, you know, like a deep cycle battery on it said that it could charge it up to, or keep charge to the energizer for up to a month. I thought, well, that actually makes a lot of sense because our coop already is solar powered in itself. So there's really, there was no need in spending all that extra money on a standalone solar charging unit whenever we have a battery powered uh, source already that's being charged by a big solar panel. So I don't see any reason why we couldn't just do that. So we opted for this Hot Shock 5 from Premier and it was only like $100. They also had many different types of, uh, or many different options. And so we opted for the poultry net and it's four foot tall. And we just got one strand, which is the 164 foot. One more thing we did opt for. It was only like $10 higher to get a double spike on them, or a double stake. And so we went ahead and did that because it seems like a lot of the ones that just have the single stake, you see the fences falling over a lot more or leaning. So hopefully this makes them more upright. I can tell you that the chickens do not like getting shocked but it's really it's really for their protection you know I've seen them out by the road quite a bit and we've had possum and coon troubles in the past so it's gonna keep them in keep predators out but pretty neat little setup here I put it on the inside and drill a hole through the wall And this is on the other side where they come out. And you just hook it directly to the fence. And then into a ground rod that we drove at least a foot into the ground. So I might pull a lot more of this wire in. I didn't know there was that much slack hanging out, but either way. Might straighten it up a little bit over time. Just wanted to get it down and probably secure this to the building a little better. But again, we got about half of them in, half of them out. There's my helper over there. Good help. It might be hard to read, but it is flashing up to the 8,000 volts. It's pretty hot.
watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. This is new to us, so I might not be able to answer them just yet, but looks like the chickens don't like it so far. Anyways, thanks again. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Stay tuned.